We certainly know what he's capable of inside the ring. We've seen his fights with Ernesto Hoost. But what are we going to see from the 44-year-old Bab Bob Sapp right here tonight? Is it going to be the same old, same Making old? His way to the ring, representing Turkey, Selçuk Ustabaje. Well, once again, you can feel the excitement building here at the Dokuz Elul University Sports Hall in Izmir, Turkey. Live on Fightbox HD at Mixed Fight Championship 24, the fans have left their seats and they have converged upon the ringside area. As Selçuk Gustavasi makes his way to ringside, the street fighter, undefeated at 8-0. He's basically like the Turkish Kimbo Slice. Seven of those wins coming by way of knockout. do exactly what he has to do regardless of what Bob Sapp has in mind for, for this one. In the NFC plus 100 kilogram division, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he stands 200 centimeters and weighed in at 150 kilograms, a veteran and legendary figure in the world of combat sports, fighting out of the USA, Bob the Beast Sapp. He stands 187 centimeters, his official weight and even 116 kilograms. His professional record flawless at 8 and go with 7. Yeah. Woo. And then he would go on to kick his opponent, Seljuk. Who's to be important in this matchup? I wish you a good fight, good sportsmanship. Thank you. Look on. Well, Bob Sapp looks like he means business, but we've seen that look before on his face. And we've seen what's happened in his fights before. So, we're going to see anything different this time or not? Here goes the bell. Round number one, and I wouldn't expect a round number two. Sapp moving forward, catching some shots in the head. Catching a lot of shots in the head, and there's a low kick. Sap firing back, though, and believe me, he's got a lot of power in those hands if he does want to use it. Look at how little the gloves look on the massive hands of Bob Sap as he's beginning to cover up now. Ustabasi, a little bit hesitant to come in. Lands a big overhand right on Sap. Sap throwing the knee though. Ustabasi has an interesting look on his face. What is going through his mind right now? I can barely even hear myself think. And he hit him when he was down. Ustabasi hit Bob Sap when he was already on the ground. And Sap is turtling up here, and I wouldn't expect him to get up. Well, he's getting up slowly. The referee is not going to let him get away with that. <laughs> Sap very slow to get up. He's shaking his head no. But now he's shaking his head yes. What on earth is going on here? We know Bob Sap has done professional wrestling before, but well, there comes the towel. There could be a riot in here. I don't know who threw in the towel or where it came from. But obviously, Sap had had enough. And I guess we got our answer. It's the same old Bob Sap. Something's never changed, right, folks? And give him credit. He's a legend in this sport. He put more people in the seats tonight and in seats around the world than most fighters ever will. But 
tonight he's up to his same old tricks. Watch this. Whoa. He didn't even hit him that time, actually. So let's see if, if there actually, no, it was a leg kick. The only shot that actually hit him at the end was a leg kick. That, that's what knocked him out. Because that, that last shot didn't even hit him.